Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, the Southwestern Command of the Indian Army conducted an integrated battle group exercise at Mahajan Field Firing Range in the Thar Desert, Rajasthan. We have also shared the video for the same and the Army has performed combat operations and displayed its firepower on different platforms aimed towards achieving the integrated fire delivery. As a part of exercise, the Indian Air Force has also showcased its precision strike capabilities of Su-30 MKIs using smart anti-airfield weapons. The Air Force has also fired missiles from Apache, Rudra and light combat helicopters. On 20th October, BDL and Assault Aviation entered into a memorandum of understanding for the integration of BDL weapon systems like Astra and SAW on Rafale aircraft for Indian Air Force. The MOU has also opened avenues for export to friendly countries, which means that the countries operating Rafales will also be able to integrate and purchase Indian weapons such as Astra and SAW which are being manufactured by BDL. This will also allow India to integrate the future weapons such as Astra Mark II and Mark III which will greatly boost the beyond visual range capability of Rafales. The integration of SAW with Rafale will boost the standoff weapon delivery capability. DRDU has developed and is developing many variants of SAW that can be used depending upon the types of operation. SAW that is smart anti-airfield weapon is a world-class lightweight high precision standoff weapon. It is a long-range precision guided anti-airfield weapon designed to be capable of engaging ground targets with high precision out to a range of 100 kilometers. Unlike the normal bombs, which may not hit the precise target due to environmental conditions, SAW uses navigation system which has higher precision but again cheaper than the missiles which have similar precision. SAW can currently be launched from Jaguar and Su-30 MKI aircraft. A Su-30 MKI can literally carry 32 SAW bombs with them which can take out a plethora of targets. SAW has a length of nearly 1.85 meters and weighs close to 125 kg with a warhead of 80 kg. The bomb has impressive accuracy with circular air priority of less than 7 meters. It uses INS GPS and Gagan for navigation. For those who are not aware of Gagan, it is GPS-aided geo-augmented navigation jointly developed by ISRO and AAI to provide the best possible navigation service over Indian FIR that is Flight Information Region with capability of expanding to the neighboring FIRs. Now this bomb uses PCB or FCD warhead with programmable impact delayed fuse. DRD is also working on an advanced version of this bomb called EOSAW or Electro Optical Saw similar to Rafael's SPICE 250. EOSAW variant will make use of Imaging Infrared Seeker system for terminal homing. The IIR Seeker has already been tested against the anti-tank guided missiles NAG, HELENA and MP-80GM, Exo-Atmospheric Interceptor PDV and Anti-Satellite Test ASAT. The EOSAW will have improved accuracy with circular air probability less than 3 meters. The weapon will have a day and night all weather capabilities with auto target acquisition algorithm. It will be utilizing unique digital scene matching area correlated technology to overcome GPS jamming. This version of SAW was tested in November 2021. DRDU is further extending the capability of SAW by using dual seeker that is the use of IIR seeker along with MMW that is millimeter wave seeker technology. The one disadvantage with IIR Seeker is that its effectiveness reduces in the battlefield conditions such as dust, smoke, rain, fog, haze and low cloud cover. This is where MMW Seeker is used. It will further boost the accuracy of SAW. This dual variant of SAW will also have AI capabilities of tracking and assigning itself both static and moving targets. This standoff weapon can also initiate self-aware evasive maneuvers if needed. So by this time, you would have understood why SAW is such an important missile for Indian Air Force and why this is good news for Air Force. 
It's also possible that BrahMos Aerospace may sign similar memorandum of understanding in the future for the integration of BrahMos NG with Rafale. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.